temporomandibular joint or the TMJ is the joint that connects your lower jaw to the rest of your skull and it plays a very important role in the basic functions of life like eating and speaking. The joint consists of two parts. First is a ball-like structure at top of the mandible which is called as a condyle which articulates with temporal bone of the skull. The two bony surfaces are separated by a soft tissue structure called articular disc which is made up of cartilage and serves to reduce friction between the two parts while also dividing the joint space itself into two. It is very important for all of these parts to work together harmoniously so as to allow smooth functioning of the temporomandibular joint. Unfortunately, in recent times, disorders of this joint have become progressively more common and may include pain, sounds and restriction of movement of the jaws. These disorders as a group are known as temporomandibular joint disorders or TMDs in short. Excessive mechanical stresses resulting on the joint from improper functioning of the components in respect to each other or due to various habits can cause release of inflammatory mediators within the joint which then lead to increased pain and in extreme cases even structural damage to the bone and the cartilaginous disc within the joint. These pains do not stay limited only to the area of the joint. It can start radiating to the ear, forehead, temple, neck and even shoulders in extreme cases. Thus, removing these mediators from the joint can help immediately reduce the symptoms of pain, swelling, etc. Treatment of these disorders starts with conservative approaches like oral medications, physiotherapy followed by specialized scans and even bite correction that can be done on the dental chair. Arthrocentesis is one of the surgical procedures which can be used by our qualified team of oral maxillofacial surgeons at FMS Dental to provide relief to patients who are unable to get any relief from these conservative procedures. Arthrocentesis at its most basic just means washing the joint from inside and is derived from Greek words arthros and kentos meaning joint and washing respectively. This procedure basically consists of washing the joint using sterile irrigants which is usually saline inserted into the joint using two separate needles. This is the most basic surgical procedure that can be done for a temporomandibular joint issue. The procedure of arthrocentesis works by two main mechanisms. Firstly, the circulation of fluid through the joint flushes out debris and something called as inflammatory mediators from the joint. These are chemical substances produced by the body in response to infection and injury. Another way in which arthrocentesis helps is by stretching the joint due to the pressure of fluid inside. When there are minor injuries within the joint, there is a tendency for the body to form adhesions in an effort to heal the joint. Adhesions are basically sticky strand-like structures of scar tissue which attach to the various points within the joint. This can cause pain, stiffness, clicking, locking and in some cases reduced range of movement of the jaws. Within the joint tends to stretch the joint capsule which can then lead to breaking of these adhesions thus helping the patients improve range of movement and reduce pain, clicking and other symptoms at the same time. So this procedure is usually carried out under local anesthesia meaning you will be awake but the area in front of your ear is going to be numbed using local anesthetic solution. So depending on specific diagnosis the procedure of arthrocentesis can also be augmented with injection of specific pharmacological agents that will deal with a specific problem that you might have. To summarize, TMJ arthrocentesis is a minimally invasive surgical procedure that works by circulating sterile saline solution through the joint which works by removing pain causing chemicals from the joint and the stretching of joint so that it allows reduction in pain and better movement of the joint almost immediately.